Hi, my name is Marlon Schulman from Libertas Law Group, and I'm here at AFM with Kurt Kelly. Thank you. Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. with a attorney extraordinaire, Marlon. I don't know about the extraordinaire, but I'm an attorney. Okay. So you have been involved with somebody else we've interviewed for several years now, Joel Eisenberg on different projects mm -hmm. and many other people. Tell us about your legal movie career producer director type status in Well, I, I'm sort of, uh, and I think I'm an interesting case because although I'm a lawyer and yes. although I do we the regular, yeah. <laughs> although I do the transactional work and this work and that work, uh, I'm much more of an entrepreneur and, right. I, and I throw in very often with projects, I throw in with the building out of ancillary revenue streams and uh, to that extent I bring a lot of, I think, added value to any project. Absolutely. Now you um, also have had your fingers in several areas of the entertainment industry. I, uh, from I, intellectual property to actually producing stuff, can you? I, I was a senior vice president at Bandai uh -huh. uh, Entertainment, and I was responsible for, uh, well, I was in part responsible for helping uh, bring anime into the country on a mm -hmm. large scale basis. It's Did, your fault, darn it. No. Well, you know, a lot of people really like it and, and there's a lot do. of good stuff. Um, so I, I did that. I worked for Bandai. I then uh, owned a graphic novels company and uh, brought uh, manga, Japanese mm -hmm. art form, to the faith-based market. Oh, nice. And uh, that with, with, with much success. Uh, worked for a music company as a, a general counsel and COO. Uh, but uh, my first love is, is film and, and TV. Mm -hmm. I watch it. I look at it way too much. You're a connoisseur. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so if someone would like to come to you, are you the guy that they would come to when their pants are on fire and they need to go to a courtroom? Do they come to you to prevent that? At what stage would they talk to well, someone I, of your stature? I, I work, I'll, I'll, I'll let the stature word go by, okay. but I, I work for a firm called... Of Liber your professionalism. Okay. I, I work for a firm called Libertas Law Which Group. Which is a Greek word. Yes, it, it means uh, freedom and uh, it means the use of law in a uh, egalitarian fashion. Okay. And uh, what we do is we're very interesting. We're a, a, a group of uh, independent contractors under one shingle, so to speak. And the umbrella, we, if you will. And we bring whatever talent and skill is necessary for that project to you. Mm -hmm. And if I bring someone in, um, and someone's pants are on fire, as you say. Right. I, I'm not a litigator anymore. I was a litigator in New York. Um, in the old days. Yes. yes. I'm not a litigator. Um, I will, we will find the right litigator for you. Mm -hmm. We won't charge you twice. I'll oversee and translate and act as a liaison for you. So you'd be kind of the shepherd, if you will. Okay, except there's going to be a wolf on your side. Oh, okay, good, good. Making sure that your pants are no longer on fire. I like that. Yeah, wolf pants are a pain when they're on fire. So, the type of law you're looking to practice is intellectual property and helping people with television, film, multimedia? Uh, multimedia, I'm, I'm actually quite involved now in crowdfunding, mm -hmm. uh, not just films, but businesses. How uh, does that work now that the SEC is deregulated and I can go start funding my next film project on the never, internet? Never use the word deregulate. The regulations are, uh, let's, let's carry the analogy a little bit further. Exactly. Uncle the, Sam still has their finger there. They're still in, they're, it's, it, it's, a, it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. You need proper guidance right. legally. You need proper guidance under the SEC rules and regulations. So somebody just throwing a project up and saying, fund us, is probably not a good idea. Uh, definitely not a good idea. And uh, one has to work with seasoned professionals, mm -hmm. not just people who say they have the expertise. Title one, two, three are all involved, in, uh, and it's still evolving. There's still more rules to come out, mm -hmm. and adherence to them is essential, but very doable. Now, we've heard over the years, those in entertainment who have been operating at, a, at any volume or speed, about the 187 tax credit. It's on, then it's off, now it's back on again for another five minutes. I, I believe it's sunsetting this December it again. Is. Again. And, and uh, there are ways to get your project 
qualified before December 31st. You have to shoot a certain amount of footage with the principal in a certain area. And, and time code it. Remember to time code. Ah, minor uh, detail. Yeah, you have to time prove that you really shot this here in Des Moines on this day. And get some pages. Now that uh, get some pages of script submitted. They can change. The footage doesn't have to be final in any way, mm -hmm. but it does have to be legally done so that you can qualify under the. Uh, under the sections. So if someone wanted to contact you or people from your firm or ilk, how would they reach out to you? Uh, a large, loud scream sometimes okay, that's works. Good. Okay. Uh, I often Help! I often ride around uh, uh, so SoCal in my uh, MP3 Piaggio with have a bright orange helmet. But okay. the more normal way yes. is 323 yes. 304 right. 3804. That's 323 and if you order 304 3804. You can also contact me at mshulman at libertaslaw.com. Fabulous. So, what are the uh, sneak peeks on projects that you're here to talk about this year? Like any good attorney? Yes. I really can't say. Ah, I see. We'll be back with more from AFM 2013. I'm Kurt Kelly, and thank you for joining us.